Hi everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today we are going to carry on with conjuring and hopefully I can pronounce the words better today. Anyway, let's get started. So we can collect some rewards. Um, we made the conjuring, we shall collect a random reward for that, which is usually food as it happens, the random rewards. We've created the, um, the start here, the conjuring scepter, which will give us another random reward. Another crate of eggs, that's brilliant. <laughs> that's a bit useless to be honest with you. And this time we get a conjunction ascent. Let's try again. Conjunction essence. Right, I'm not gonna do very well with that one. Hold on a second. So we've got our conjure essence essence. Well so we've also got the a blackstone pedestal that we shall give us a random reward, a block of nickel. Nickel, that's not too bad. Different actually this time. And then we've got another random reward which has given us a crate of carrots. There's a lot of random rewards, but it tells us what we've got to do next anyway. So we've got, here we can make a superior conjuring scepter, a scepter and also a soul rod, which in fact is required for this conjuring scepter anyway. Um, we've got to make some, co we've done half of the composite materials, which will give us then some netherite scraps and some random rewards. So what we have to make is a soul slice. Let's go back and make a soul slice. In fact, it's night time. I shall be back in a second. So the recipe for um, soul slices are quite expensive in terms of materials. We need four of these conjuration essence, one nether star and four ironing ingots. Well, ironing is nothing big deal, but the other ones are a bit of a deal. So let's put these into, we need to have my three sets of these, by the way. Um, so I'm going to make three at the same time. And then we should just be able to take the iron and put it around the outside. Doesn't matter if I've got too many. Let's just take these out of here. And these take 60 seconds to, to make one. And then we will complete that task. So while that task is completing, let's have a look at the rest of the stuff. In fact, let's have a look at the difference between the two focuses here. Because that's the next thing we want to do. Is to make a stabilized conjuring focus. Um, and the recipe for this one is uh, soul slices around uh, with soul alloy. So we need four of those to start with just for this, to make this one. For the superior conjuring scepter, we need uh, another star, a soul rod and a nether quartz. Soul rod is another conjuration essence and conjuring Asian essence as well, and two blaze rods. That only takes 15 seconds. And then we also need to do some more bits and pieces, but that will come on later on. So we'll make these three items next. And in fact, I'll wait until this is finished doing it. It's, it's, we've got all six of those. So I'll see you in a second. So now, as you see, we've got our six of these. So let's put those into my hut while we'll get the quest completed. And then we'll just make the, the ring up. So I need is soul. There we go. So I like. And this ring takes, I'm not sure how long to take, 60 seconds. So we'll come back in a minute and have to be made, I think. You can see the redstone signals here has, has already been activated, so it won't take too long. So the difference between these two, let's have a look at uh, in the book and see if we can find it. Because the, the book does give you a lot of information that you need. Conjuration, essence, conjuration. Right, conjuring scepter focus. This is the one I want to look at. So, this is the one that stores the items. And does it tell us about the other one, the superior one? Um, I don't see it here. No, I don't see it here. But basically, the difference is you, this one here, the conjuring focus, you need to conjuring, yeah, you need to be near it like a normal spawner. And with the superior one, you can it just runs when you are not around. So that's the the main difference between these two. Stabilized conjuring focus. So you see, you can press control and it should come. Stabilized conjuring focus says is a good job, but sometimes simply not good enough. The stabilized one, which reinforces this with soul slices, is an exceptionally more powerful. Once inserted into a conjurer, it will start mimicking the player's presence, practically allowing perpetual summoning. So that's what it does. So let's take that. So we've got one of those. Of course, what we need to do now is capture a mob 
for that one. Um, I'm just looking at my inventory. It's looking a weeny bit on the full side. Can I move some of this stuff out of here? Blackstone, gilded blackstone. Yes, I can. Let's just move some of these polish, these bits out that I don't need immediately. We need two blaze rods and another nether star. Oops. To make the next one of these, so we want to make the, the soul rod. So that, so that goes in the middle of these two, like this. So the conjuration essence plus two blaze rods will make the, the soul rod. Doesn't take very long, so it's only 15 seconds. Whereas the superior conjuring sept takes quite a long time, I think. One of these takes five minutes, or 10 minutes even, 600 seconds. So that goes here. We need another star for that one. And we also need a, another, another quartz, I think is what we need for this. Let's, if it works, it takes a while before it starts kicking in. Let's just double check it. Looks good. Yes, this one takes 10 minutes. So while this one's doing so, we'll go and find another mob to capture and put into the stabilized conjuring focus. So let's do that. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to find a witch. We've got a witch about. I need some soul sand. Have we got some soul sand around here? I'll probably put it back. back. Yes, some soul sand. We'll put that into here. Uh, like this. I've actually changed this to being glass plain so you can see better. That might be a good idea, I thought. So we'll leave that. I will put this one into the middle of this. I really need to put this down second. But let's go over to... Um, actually I'm going to t teleport to where I want to go to. I'm just going to show you this because it's sort of interesting in a way. So what we need to do is I need to find a f something in the end. I think it's the end portal, which is here. And if you look at this, it's actually one of the better end constructions. I don't think we've covered this, but we will do. I think I'll do that probably next episode. Let's just go through this portal. We come back somewhere about here um, in the overworld and in fact we're actually quite a long way from home let's have a look at the map and let's scroll out a bit yeah, it's probably going to take a long time to do that didn't, didn't expect it to do that let's just as you can see I've explored the area a little bit but if I actually turn on the waypoints We should, oh, actually I won't be able to see any because I haven't actually put any waypoints in this particular save, ha ha. But I think if we go back at the map again um, and zoom it in, there are some interesting things around here. Where am I? There's a village, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a little house. Here we are. So this is what I'm looking for here. And then here there's a witch. So that's this direction. It's going to fly over here. This is also something that's going to be useful for better, um, for better end. This is something special for better end. Oh, biomark over. Sorry, wrong one. So here, oh, that's a village. Somewhere about here there's a little hut hiding around. And we shall find in there a witch. Let's just turn on the minimap. Might help a little bit as it happens. Oh, yes, witch. <laughs> A <laughs> good clue. And here she is in this little house here. As you can hear, she's got her little voice and her entrance is just here. So I'm just going to get the other Sue ready. In fact, I might as well turn off this. Just come in here. She should be in here somewhere. Where's she gone to? Oh, it must be upstairs. Yeah, there she is. Got up. Right, let's just go back home. So now we've got a witch. So all we need to do for this witch is we need some glowstone and some redstone. Let's just get some. I think I've got some in here somewhere. Glowstone's got one, don't I? We just need two pieces of this. Any of her drops will do. So glowstone will be fine. And we also need some redstone, which you've got already. So we'll put these into the into here, into the port, into the pedestal. So we need one. It doesn't really matter where I put them, I suppose. Could put them opposite or could put them next to each other. Let's just take two out of this. Uh, shulker box, put the other two into here like that. 
she doesn't need protecting from light because she's a witch <clears throat> so i just have to get it into here now so let's do that and we need this conjuring skip skip to get her ready to go so let's hope i get this right we not have to catch her again so soul funnel put it oh try that okay that's right so she's now in there She's not going to be able to damage us because it's behind glass, which is great. So we can now put this in here like that. You'll see she's also probably got slowness. Hopefully she has. So we need to sh shift right click the foot, right click the funnel. Yes. There we go. And sure enough, we've now got a stabilized conjuring focus with a witch in it. Fantastic. Um, what we can now do. Uh, I think this thing is still <laughs> progressing. Uh, what we also need to do is make a conjurer. But I'll tell you what we'll do. We're, instead of making a conjurer, we'll just use the one we've got already. And we'll see how that goes. There is something else we can make in the meantime. While this is going on. It's night time, so I'll be back in a second when it's daytime. So what we can make is a gem tinkerer. This is the, the thing that adds... Um, I suppose, uh, properties to the spawner. So this is this just gilded blackstone or some blackstone will make this gem tinkerer. I can put the gems, to, I can put those two away now. I don't need to anymore. And what you do is just put this down here somewhere. It doesn't really make any difference where. And then on top of this, you need to put some items like this. So for instance, this is, this is emerald. So, so we just click the shift right, uh, right click the top of it. Oops, not the top. Maybe I have to shift right click it. I'm not sure. Huh. No, maybe I'll put on the lesser essence to start with. So we should have some lesser essence. We got four, which is what we need for the four different types of gen gems. And then I should be able to right click these on. Yes, that's right. So you can right click those on, and then you simply right click. Oops, is it just shift right click it. I think we don't need this the scepter for this. Yes, you just shift right click it, and you'll see it's moving up and down like this. And then it finishes and produces this gem like that so now we've got an aspect gen which is haste which speeds up the spawning of mobs fantastic huh so next one we'll do is the lapis lazuli there's four redstone and eye of ender as the third the other one so we'll just put that on the top shift right click those and shift right click the gem tinkerer oh, and then when those are finished like that take it off again so we've got our second aspect gem. Let's do the next one, redstone. It obviously doesn't matter which order we do any of these in. Like that. So what did that one produce? That one produced uh, ignorance. Now basically ignorance, I think ignores the distance or something like that. We'll see, we'll see, and it's all in the book anyway. So this one is abundant, so that re um, I presume it makes the number of mobs and spawning increase. Like that. But these need to be in a container to put in order to insert them into the scope. I can't remember what scope does. We'll have to look it up. It would, if we press control on... No, it doesn't actually show me this one. We have to put them into a gem socket. So a gem socket is made with a lesser conjunction essence plus two nether bricks and one soul alloy in the sword in here and it takes five seconds so they don't take very long to do at all this thing has almost finished so while we're doing that i need to make some more lesser conjunctions <laughs> i'll get it right one of these days essence right so we need another one of those which so right just right click it on the wall get four of those which is all we need So any second now, this is going to complete, I hope. Yep. Power is now 14, so it's 15. I'll tell you what, I'll wait and I'll be back when this is finished. There we go, it's now finished. So we have the superior conjuncturing sceptre. So let's, while that's doing that, let's make up the next one of these. So we need four soul alloys. Oops, five doesn't make any difference. I'm really split these across like that. And then those will take 15 seconds each to make. So they're fairly quick, as you can see. So then we've got this gem socket. And if you press control on it, it tells you a little bit about it in the book. 
So it says that the violent conditions inside the country necessitate extra care when it comes to aspect gems inside each one, reinforcing the gem. Gem sockets are required, these are like little gems to focus their energy. And all the thing you have to do is actually put them inside. I'm pretty sure it's a, self, it's a crafting recipe. No, it's not. <laughs> so we'll look at the uses of this. Maybe I'll do it in the machine. No, it is crafting, but I have to do it in a crafting grid. Okay. So, that goes at the top and that goes underneath it like that. And then we get this scope charm. Uh, so the next one of these, are they already finished? We've got three. Yes, they're already finished. Great. So I'll make up the rest of these now. And the third one is lapis. Fourth one is lapis. So that's those are all done. Abundance, haste, ignorance, and that. So now we can go and install these into uh, into the conjurer that we've already made. But before I do that, let's have a quick look as if there's anything else at those quest rewards. Let's see how far we've if there's more stuff to do in this one. So it looks like we've completed most of these now. In fact, yes, we've actually completed them all. Look, so we get a lesser conjunction essence here. Um, what do we get for this one? We get two conjunction essence, which is actually really good reward as it happens. But did I not click plus? I didn't click the item. And then we get some haste charms. We get a block of emerald. I'm not quite sure what that that's relevant, but well, then we get some soul alloy from doing the socket, the gem tinkering sockets. And this one we get a block of redstone, that makes sense, because that's what it was made out of. We get four eyes of ender for this one. So it basically gives you enough stuff to make the next items. Didn't I not click the plus on that one? All right. And I've got stuff floating around, so let's just put what we can into here. I uh, will probably not need these yet for the time being. Let's put them away. Don't need another, don't need a block of redstone emeralds. I probably don't need this four eyes of ender. Let's have a look at the quest again and see what we've got to collect. I think there's just two more. So that gives us a random reward and we've got a ooh, thousand XP. Well, that's, that's actually an interesting reward. I've got 69 XP now. Wow. Okay. And then let's go back again. The last one of these is this. So we get a random reward plus some netherite scraps for making the, the slices. So let's just collect that one to get the time. A food, chimichanga, and uh, some other right scraps. Fantastic. So chimichanga probably is useful. Let's have a look how much it's got in it. Four of those. Oh, yes, it's actually quite a, quite a good food, that one. Okay, so now I'm going to go over to the to the place I've got something floating around here. Ah, is that the netherite scrap? That doesn't come into my inventory. This is actually... I think it's giving me three. Let's just fly over here. And it should get picked up by the this. And I got a three. But I only actually got two rewards. It's the weirdest, one of the weirdest um, features I've seen. <laughs> As it happens, we don't need those either. So we can put those up there. Right. Let's go. It's just over to the battle battle tower. Let's, we've set it up last time. Like this. And we should then be able to take user's country and skip to here. Oh, it's turned off, of course. And we can then remove this one here, like, like this. And we can put the witch one in its place. Of course, we can then put in these gems. We can shift click these into here like that. Maybe I have to go and run away. I don't know. We shall see. So now, if I just do this, we should get witches being spawned. Um, and I don't know how fast and how many. And I don't even need to be here. So maybe I'll just leave this and we'll come back in a few minutes when some witches are spawned. There we go. We've got two witches over there. And they're throwing nasty stuff at me. <laughs> Let's just turn this off. Uh, all right, didn't like that one. But I should have a po anti-poison thing against me, so let's just let's get rid of these two. My arm oh, it's not. Right, okay. So that's that. So <laughs> I just deactivated my... No, I activated it. I wasn't sure whether my sword was deactivated or not. Okay, so that's how that works. And I think that's basically most of the mod done, except for we need to go and do weapons. So let's go back and have weapons and tools. Let's go back home and do some of those. 
what we need for the weapons and tools of these ones these are items here so we need soul alloy two soul alloys two uh four soul slices uh sorry one soul slice plus a conjunction essence will give it a an alloy sword a soul alloy sword and we do this in the soul weaver so we've got to make a soul weaver uh, so look at that which is the same thing as before so this is just soul alloy black polished blackstone gilded and some pedestals right tell you what i'll make we'll come and make the the weaver first of all and the pedestals i will make separately so i needed some gilded blackstone i probably need some soul alloy i've hopefully we've got enough of this and so slices i need to make some more but i probably don't need to make all of these tools we'll just make one of the tools um polished blackstone was the other thing i needed right okay so so the soul weaver is this one which we can create and then that completes that quest and then we need to make four pedestals i'm not sure if i can make what i'm missing polished blackstone bricks own steps okay tell you what i'll make those and be back in a second so the soul weaver is the item we need to use next let's have a look at it in the book it shows me the recipes we've seen before and this is the layout we can visualize the layout it's basically exactly the same as the other one so let's just go and put this down i think that a good place would be around about here a couple of blocks away from that one like that will do fine i think so we'll look yes we've got space so let's just put down the pedestals first of all that's a nice trick being able to press oh <laughs> bad choice <laughs> right let's just move this block one back that's not what i wanted to do at all where's the book i should just visualize this again right okay so i want to move it one block back here but it's not visualizing oh, of course not because i turned it off like that that should be fine this time huh, never mind um <clears throat> small small mistake right let's put these down again so we goes into the middle and then the next thing we need to do of course is to link these to uh, the items or the pedestals to the to the core which we did previously so we can use either skip to this one shift right clicking it as you can see fairly straightforward nice gives you a nice line this time so it makes it easier to see so these are all linked in um so now we put onto the pedestals the items that we need to make so in the middle we have a netherite sword i remember rightly like this that looks good and then on the eye on here we need to put some netherite ingots so I need another ingot on here. I uh, guess that the positions don't really matter that much. We need some soul slices. And then we need some uh, soul alloy ingots. And I think those are the four items that we need to put on here. And then we need to set a conjuring essence. And I guess we have to put this in our offhand like that. And then right click this with the with this let's do a quick look at the book again maybe it gives us a bit of a clue because i didn't read it all did i so in the final step so if we loaded with a conjunction essence essence uh right clicks with a conjunction has to be loaded okay so how do we have to load this so maybe i just come along here and try it right click that oh yes it does yes indeed it does it goes into the middle so we shift right click that close enough right click it is that working <laughs> difficult to know i can't did i oh did i take the sword off it no i didn't um let me just go back to the book again because i'm a bit lost as to what actually happened then right clicked with the conjuring scepter to, to find this out. okay so let's just right click that it doesn't seem to be working just double check the recipe again let's 
So a sword in the middle, plus one essence. Soul alloy, soul slice. Oh, yes, that's what's wrong. Okay, I made some netherite. Okay. This is a netherite. Netherite one. I should have spotted that, but I didn't. Sorry about that. Oops, try again. Now that should now work. Let's just do this one. Right click it, isn't it? Oh, yes, that's working, definitely. Let's go back a bit and we can see it. <laughs> and there we have our sword. Fantastic. So that's that bit. In fact, while I'm doing this, let's just put the next one in. I can't make all of these today because I haven't got enough bits and pieces. But we can make certainly uh, a couple of these like that. What I'm actually short of is, in fact, I think so. I think solar alloy. So let's just remove this one. I'm putting it in its place. Let's put in the pickaxe. That might be an interesting one to do. Spiritual implementations. Okay, good. So right click that and off it goes again. Good animations they've got in this mod. I quite like them. And there we go. I'll try again. Take it off. So what have we got left? Actually, I can actually make all of these. Tell you what, I'll make them and I'll come back in a second. Well, we're sort of nearly finished, but not quite. I just go as I was looking at this. If we come and have a look here and then we should be able to see what the soul sword does. You can actually, what it says is you have to enable it somewhere or other. So it, it contributes to warrior process and ability launches five beams normally it deals 20 percent of the swords attack damage to each soul so one wishes to make the soul alloy stronger than by the some gem tinkering so haste increases the attack speed abundance basically is a looting thing by the looks of it scope disables sweeping edge in favor of a larger area of attack and the ignorance ignores specific amount of armor per gem fitted okay so we need to go back to gem tinkering. So let's go back here. Oh, this, this, was, this was the superior conjuring scepter. That scepter, this one basically does, you can create conjuring, uh, conjuration essence somehow or other, but I'm not quite sure how that works yet. We'll have to figure that out. So it says here we can create it when in, by condensing it. I'm not sure how this works. I just don't know. Maybe you have to right click your attack or kill some mob with it. Um, and we can also instantly finish off a recipe by shift right clicking the soul forge recipe which is interesting let's just try that let's we need to probably make some more soul alloys so i've got enough materials for doing that because we're using up so <laughs> quite quickly as it happens oh i know what we can do we can make another of these um uh, tinkerers so we put so what we needed was two nether some oh, that's right Two nether nether block nether bricks, sorry, and then two soul alloys, and that should work. Yes, that's working. So let's just shift right click this now. Done. Did that, did that work? <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> sorry. Oh yes, I've got yes, I've got two, and it finished it off. But of course, it broke the automation <laughs> because. Well, that's not surprising, is it? Because it instantly finished off before it actually um, pushed out the pushed out the block. So I just put the that light up again. So we're ready for the next one. So now we can do, do some gem tinkering on these ones. So I, what I could do is some probably redstone haste would probably be a good one to do. So let's put on to here some lesser. Where's the lesser stuff gone to? I thought I had some lesser. Um, I've done something funny with it, haven't I? I thought we had two left. Never mind. I shall have to go and get some more. But I think we've probably run out of time. So a second. Well, I did find some more essence. It was a battle tower just over there. So if I now put these on to here, I made some gems, as we've done before. So I've put one haste and three abundance. So let's shift right click this and see what happens. Uh, yes okay 
So now we've got this sword and it's actually got on it some pro some gem tinkerings, as you can see. We're allowed to have, I think, up to five different gems on here. But let's go and test it. And I think we have to do something. It tells you in the book. Let's have a look. Let's press control on this. It tells me about I have to use some special key combination in order to activate this. Uh, it doesn't say it here. As I did see it says you have to. Let's go and have a look at controls. And it says it's a, a one you can configure yourself. So let's have a look. Creative multiplayer. Well, so we're looking for conjuring. So it's left alt to, to toggle the key mode. Okay, so that'll do. So we press left alt. And it has to presumably be in our hand. Don't really see it doing too much. Oh, actually, it's shift left alt. Um, okay, let's go and test it now. There's some mobs over here, of course, as usual. So let's go fly over there quickly and just see what happens when we use them. I know this takes damage because I just tested out the pickaxe. Oh, what's we got there? Zombie villager. Well. Two hits. So it's not quite as, but obviously I'd probably put some more items in it. I guess we can't enchant it. So let's go back. I should have some kitty boots on me so that the creepers aren't going to attack me. Let's just check. Yeah, he's running away. As you can see. <laughs> Doesn't apply for spiders, but it's not actually what it's not a one hit weapon. No, it's not too bad though. That looks it. Like it is sort of right, got you. This one <laughs> hard to chase around. Right, let's go back home. In fact, let's go the quick oh I've got another banner. What did I get? Some bones. Let's just go back home. Uh put those in the offhand. I'm just go back home. Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it and learnt something new. The only thing I haven't done with conjuring so far is to have a look at the superior conjuring scepter in order to find out how it generates some um, conjuration essence. Until next time, I'll wish you all the best. Bye for now.